Hello friends! Today we're going to read Peanut Butter and Cupcake by Terry Border. Let's take a look at the front cover. What types of foods do you see? Over here I see peanut butter. He's holding a soccer ball and I see Cupcake. She's jumping on a pogo stick. Let's dive in and see what this story is all about. Peanut Butter got a ball for his birthday. He was kind of bad at kicking it with his feet, but was kind of good at kicking or balancing it on his head. Still, it wasn't much fun playing with a ball all by himself. So it's just him, he's all alone. Want to play with me? He asked his mom. They had just moved to town and Peanut Butter didn't have any friends yet. I think you should go outside and find someone to be your new friend, she answered. Peanut Butter liked that idea very much. So off he went. It wasn't long before he saw someone. If I didn't have anyone to play with, I'd want to go out and find a friend too. Let's see who he found. Hmm, what do you see? What type of food is this? Let's find out. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and hamburger. I'm sorry, said a hamburger. I'm busy walking the dogs. Thanks for asking though. You're welcome, said peanut butter. Maybe next time. And he kept walking. So peanut butter and hamburger doesn't look like they're gonna be friends quite yet. Let's see if he finds someone else. Then he saw Cupcake playing all by herself. He thought she looked sweet and might make a good friend. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and Cupcake! I'm, I'm building sprinkle castles, said Cupcake. You can stay and watch, but please don't hit my castle with your ball or I'll be mad. Peanut Butter didn't want to make anyone angry. That's okay, Peanut Butter said, and he kept walking. Then he saw Egg. Egg was rolling down the path. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and egg. Peanut butter and egg, that's funny. You're cracking me up, Egg laughed. And then he really did crack. Peanut Butter didn't want the egg to laugh anymore, so he kept walking. He found someone jumping. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and meatball. 32. 33, 34, shh, I'm counting my jumps, said Meatball. 35, 36, 37, I'm trying to set a record. Peanut Butter whispered back, but I have this ball and 38, 39, 40, shh, said Meatball. Peanut Butter kept walking. Finding a friend was harder than he thought it was going to be. How do you think peanut butter is feeling right now? Yeah, he's probably feeling pretty sad. He hasn't found anyone to be his friend yet. Let's see if the next person will be his friend. Then peanut butter saw another someone sitting under the tree. And that was good because he was ready to sit down too. Even though he was getting tired, he gave it another try. Hello. I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly 
and we'll go together like peanut butter and french fries. Not right now, said french fries. I just remembered I'm supposed to be helping hamburger with his hot dogs and I need to catch up. <sighs> peanut butter walked up to one more someone who was practicing his ABCs. But before he could open his mouth, Soup picked up a spoon, dipped it into himself, and then showed it to Peanut Butter. In the spoon were two letters, an N and an O, which spells no. But I didn't say anything yet, said Peanut Butter. You didn't have to, said Soup. Oh, said Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter found a bench to sit on. He was almost ready to give up. But as he sat there, very sad, a new kid walked up to him. Hello, she said. Peanut Butter took a deep breath. Um, hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day? I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we'll go together like peanut butter and jelly. Sure, I'll be your friend, said Jelly. But could you teach me how to keep the ball on my head? I'm only good with my feet. Look who found himself a friend. So they taught each other what they knew and made each other chuckle deep down in their bellies. It wasn't long before their laughing made other kids come over. They asked if they could play too. Of course, Peanut Butter and Jelly were happy to let them join. As his new friends knocked the ball around with their feet and their heads, and in one case, his buns, Peanut Butter chuckled deep down in his belly because they all went together like peanut butter and hamburger and cupcake and egg and meatball and french fries and soup and jelly. The end. I like that story so much because Peanut Butter, he had trouble finding friends at first and then they all ended up friends in the end. Can you remember what, our, what some of the foods are that peanut butter became friends with? Hmm. What were your favorites? What's your favorite food in real life? Let me know. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll see you soon.